What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Reactor saying that they want us to get the Diamati done on any map with a Microflex LED. And that's kind of what we'll be doing today. And what I mean by kind of is that instead of just using the Microflex LED, we'll spawn in with it. But every five rounds, we're going to randomize our attachments. Now, we've done something similar to this with the LC10, but I think it'd be kind of fun to do it with a pistol. Because with the pistol or the DMIs especially, they can either be really good or really bad depending on your attachments. So we could go ahead and roll and maybe get like a two times scope, which would be awful. Or we can roll and get like dual wield with task force barrels, which is one of the best weapons in the game. And this might be our last gun to get Dark Aether, because after this, I think we only have melee weapons left. All right, so as you can see, we have our Diamati here. The only attachment we have on is the Microflex LED per the request. And and no other attachments are on here. So everything we're going to have to get is going to be from the armor stand and us randomly shuffling them. But as for our camo progress, we have a little bit done here. I have 553 kills with this, which is actually kind of low compared to what I normally have when I get these things leveled up. So we have to get 1,500 kills, damn near all of our crits, 2,300 or 2,200 pack-a-punch kills. Not too bad. Vintage, we need one more special or elite elimination. We need to get 10 kills rapidly seven more times. We need to get three or more crits rapidly 24 more times and we need to get all of our jackrabbit medals and for our field upgrade we're going to be using ring of fire anyways let's hop into forsaken and get this thing done all right here we are on forsaken and this is just going to be a little bit of a bittersweet uh recording for me because with this being our last like actual gun to get dark aether i don't know if i want to make a third account i think two accounts is just about good you know i don't want to run dark aether into the ground is getting every weapon dark aether three times yeah, you know, it's a little overkill. Two times, you know, it feels just right. We're doing one on keyboard and mouse, one on controller. It feels balanced. Also, this might be our last Dark Aether that I put up before I go on vacation. But I'm still going to pre-record some videos ahead of time, doing some melee weapons with some challenges I think you guys will like. But just so we can keep up with, you know, the, the interaction between you guys, like me seeing your comments, me putting them in the video, I'm going to throw up, like, a few comments of people suggesting whatever weapons that I'm doing. Uh, I won't be able to do your challenges because I already have the videos pre-recorded. But then I'll also, you know, throw up some comments that I thought were nice. That, that uh, you know, made me smile. You know, made me feel good. Oh, wait. It's already been five rounds. Oh, wait. We need to get out of this first room. I'm out of here. All right. Since we do not have enough salvage to uh, re-roll our attachments, and I completely forgot about the first room thing, we'll start this at, like, round 10. So we'll use our little Microflex LED site for now. And then once we hit round 10, assuming we have enough salvage, we'll go ahead and re-roll our attachments. Zombies, you guys better start ponying up on the salvage. We got a challenge to do. There's our Gunrunner camo. We're gonna get all these crit camos done easy. Or at least our crits without... Or our crits rapidly. We got our amphibian camo there as well. So maybe we will get all of our crit camos easily. Oh no. Oh no. All right, well, I'm already down. That was stupid. I just sat there and got got. But just to go back to what we were talking about before on me not going for Dark Aether for a third time, that does not mean I'm going to stop playing Cold War or Zombies. We'll still do like challenge videos. We'll maybe run through the Easter eggs some more. Maybe do some side Easter eggs. Like there's still more stuff to do on here besides grinding camos. And then if Modern Warfare 2 coming out in a few months here, like if I get bored of it fast or, you know, any time between its two year life cycle, Maybe we come back and do it again. I won't completely put it off the table, but as of right now, we'll we'll still be playing Cold War, but maybe just not grinding zombies camos again. Let's head through our portal. All right, let's start looking for our parts for the next portal. Here's one. And then let's go through our huge loose change. What is it? Like train? I don't even know what to call it. I just know that there's like a, oh, damn near a thousand points of loose change on this map. Or probably even more, actually. And I'm not about just to leave all that free money on the ground. Go in here. Where's our TV at? Oh, it's over the counter. I'll take that. Head on through here. Where's your flashlight? Oh, also behind the counter. I'll take that. And where is our fry cage at? Also behind the counter. Damn, I got everything behind the counter today. Quick loose change as well. Let's repair this teleporter real quick and head on through. All right, Abomination, where you at? I got some words for you, pal. And by words, I mean bullets from this Diamati. But first... And the dude on the back? Got him. Was he charging at me? Holy shit. All right, let's just ring a fire at him. Go ahead, scream, idiot. There goes your mouth. Taking cover from you as well. Dude, don't know how walls work. Night, night. There's our maniac camo or our manic camo. I don't even know. I have the English capabilities of a four-year-old, but we're all done with our special elites. Lockdown has been lifted. Pack-a-punch has been got. 
Really quick, that's what the Diamati looks like. Just a single Diamati pack a punch one. Pretty cool. This camo is pretty sick. Let's grab our loose change from PhD. Has anyone figured out anything with this room yet? This feels like so out of place for up here. Like, why is that here? Almost forgot to get some cryo freeze on this. And how can we forget dead shot the most important perk for us grinding all right now that we have all of our like camo grinding essentials i want to try out some new spots here on forsaken so i've had people tell me about this donut shop for a while i've tried it a few times i don't know if i like it too much i think you're just supposed to stand either up here or like on this side of the counter and they kind of just all funnel to you so we'll see if that works i mean so far so good doesn't look like they're all hopping over the counter they're all just walking right at me. The next zombie that comes to this window, I'm going to let him through and see how he acts. See if he'll hop over. Yep, looks like they hop right onto the counter. Not good. But if I stand right here, is this better? I mean, a little bit. But it is round 10, and we do have enough salvage, so let's go ahead and randomize our attachments. All right, our first randomization. Give me something good. Okay, single pistol. Looks like we got a suppressor on it now. I wish I could check the barrel. Oh, I need to keep track of our ammo count, too. We have 30 in this one, and it looks like we kept uh, the same sight. All right, zombies, I'm going to need you guys to back up for a minute so I can grab some perks, please. First thing we're grabbing is quick revive, since so we don't have a self-revive. Let's get uh, death perception so we can keep that salvage going. Let's get speed cola for faster reloads and faster field upgrade. Uh, Let's get mule kick so we can get constant ammo. Please don't down me. And we need... Jug. Jug will probably help. And now let's grab stamina. Did I ever grab a loose change from here? I did not. And you know what? Just to speed things along, add a little stakes to this. Let's turn on the rampage inducer. Let's see if the donut shop spot can really hold up now. There's our glitch camo. Almost done with our jackrabbits. And we gotta be really careful. Once we kill our last zombie here, we need to go and reroll our attachments. Which I think is right now. So we gotta be fast. Let's try not to get killed while we do this. So right now we have 48 bullets in each mag. What do we get when we reroll them? Oh, please don't kill me. Still 48. Our sight changed a little bit, but we still have a suppressor and a single pistol. Oh, no. Please don't knock me. Okay. So not much change in here. Oh, please, zombie. Stay back for one second. Oh, wait. What? Did I just see a zombie walk all the way around, and now he's standing on my head? Okay. Actually, wait a minute. This spot's a lot better than I thought. If the zombie's coming from back here... Climb up here, take a step on your head, and then walk all the way back? Like, this is kind of crazy. They all have to funnel right to me. Oh, and there's an abomination. Great. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna wait for him to poke his little head in here, and then I'll pop my ring of fire. Is the abomination stuck? Is he not getting over here? Oh, here he is. Ring of fire. Oh, and he's already dead. It took three bursts with ring of fire. His laser sound's still going, too. I don't think he knows he's dead yet. Oh, there's a conviction. We're all done with jackrabbits now. Yeah, this spot's not bad. I'll take it. It's no truck spot, but it's comparable. I'll give it that. And it's already time to reroll our attachments again. Zombie. Night, night. Let's do this fast. Leave something good. And we get the same thing, basically. What? Is it even possible to get dual wield out of randomizing the attachments? Does it even count that as an attachment? I have not seen it yet. I guess that works for us right now. A lot easier to get crits that way. And speaking of crits, 750 of them. Okay, stun. No knocking. It's dangerous over here. Stun again. Pop the ring of fire. Nobody's surviving. Oh no. An abomination. I don't have a ring of fire ready. Or armor for that matter. Let's throw out a stun. Grab the insta kill. Maybe that'll do enough damage to take him out. It's not looking like it. And he's about to laser us. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Please don't knock me. Damn. Good thing we have a crawler right here. Insta killed. All right. I have no way to get back up right now. And only 25 health. I'm not going down here. It's not happening. I'm running for my life. We'll go to the one place where you can't get me. That's up here. I'm gonna collect my thoughts for a second. I think what we're gonna do is go back to spawn. There's a workbench right next to us. And we can craft the fastest self-revive in the west. Head back through. Okay, we should be good now. At least to be able to survive until we can buy our perks back. But if you guys have been watching the recent videos, we've tried out this glitch spot over here. Oh shit, please don't knock me. That's right here on this bridge. We're going to... Oh, damn, I'm down again. But I want to try it now with this door open. I have not tested that yet. So let's use our self-revive. I'm going through this portal. We're going to have to buy another one. And be as fast as we can with it. 
There we go. Okay, I think we have like one zombie left in the round in Abomination. I need to get all my perks back right now. I was saving up so I could get pack two and pack three at the same time, but now it looks like we're gonna have to mortgage the house to get all of our perks. All right, well, let's get every single one of them back besides Tombstone and Elemental. And we're good to go. Abomination, I need you to not live anymore, I think. Yeah, it's time for you to go night-night, buddy. Open your mouth. There you go. And now you're dead. We do have enough for pack two, though. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's snag it. And this is what Pack-A-Punch 2 looks like here on Forsaken on the Diamati. Very nice. Some of the cleanest Pack-A-Punch camos in this game. But now I want to go try out that glitch spot again with this door open. I want to see if the zombies behave differently. Because with the door closed, they'll just stop wherever they're standing at. With it open, do they pile up? It looks like they can't hit me from right here. And they do kind of pile up. Okay, this is kind of sick. Only like one zombie can really hit me from right here and the rest just pile up. This spot just got a whole lot better. What if I ring a fire here? Does the ring of fire just kill all the zombies? Yeah, basically. Okay, now I'm really hurt. I don't know what the hell is hurting me there. But I didn't like it. All right, just wanted to try it out. I won't stay there for the whole game. But even with those two spots, I still think my favorite spot to grind at is back over here. Right here next to death perception. Holy shit! Oh my god! Why are you standing there like that? I didn't hear a single spawn sound. My god, that scared me. I mean, clutch the pearls. Why the fuck is the disciple just standing there? Holy shit. All right, round 25. We get to reroll our attachments again. Dual wield, please. Nope. They want to keep giving us like the same thing. Maybe optics take priority when you're randomizing your attachments. And then you can't have optics on while you have a Kimbo in this game. So maybe it's impossible. I just set myself up to never be able to use dual wield Diamantes again. We do have a lot less ammo here. I think our last one had like 48 or something. This one only has 30 max in the mag. But we do have 40,000 points. So let's go get pack three. And here is what pack three looks like on a Diamante. Very nice. These are probably the cleanest triple set of pack bunch camos in this game. They're so nice. I guess it really don't matter what attachment we have on this Diamati. Ring of Fire just makes everything so busted. This thing absolutely just demolishes. Oh shit, there's Abomination and my Ring of Fire just went away. Can you die please, sir? You mind doing that for me? Oh shit. A lot of zombies in this corner. Lots of zombies. I'm out. There you go, Abomination. Night, night time. No, no, no. Stun, go. Woo, five health. Good timing on that stun. Oh, there's our drenched camo. Stun again. Oh, shit. Ooh, it's getting real difficult to survive over here. Hopefully our next attachments will help us out with that. Let's re-roll. What do we got? Nope, no dual wield. One of these days. One of these days we'll see dual wield. I am starting to struggle with this pistol. These zombies are taking like three to five bursts. You know, per zombie to kill. And if I don't got a ring of fire, I'm dying in that corner. But now I do. Still might die in the corner, but we'll go down with a ring of fire. We'll throw a stun out just in case. Take out our abominations while we have the chance. Okay, all right. We kind of made it through. Very nice. I'd be getting torched if I didn't have ring of fire. Oh, there's threshold. We're at 1,500 crits. So when we're at 1,000 or 2,319, we'll be all done. No, no, no. Way too many zombies over here. Ring of fire, please save me. Oh, it's working somewhat. I had to use a stun in there as well. This is getting stupid difficult. They're really making us fight for this one. No, we're down. I thought I threw a stun in time. Well, that's an armored zombie. He's not going to let us up. What about this guy? You know what? Insta-kill might help us. Yep. All right, let's just try to windle down this round and then we'll get our perks and everything back damn we've already been down four times that is not good let's go ahead and get everything back even tombstone this time all right we should be all good now all right round 35 please give me dual wield we've been this far come on no i don't think it's possible to get dual wield on just randomizing them it can't be once we get dark aether i'm just gonna sit there and re-roll it until we get it oh there's our rotten camel we're all done with our normal kills Still very far behind on crits, though. <laughs> this is going to take a while. No. Don't knock me. I won't allow it. Oh, no way we powered through that. And there's an abomination. Okay. Yeah, charge at me, you little fuck. Nope. Running. Running. 
Shout out Jug for saving me on that one health. All right, Abomination, night, night. Holy shit, that was close. No fucking way, dude. No. Decoy, go, and I'm already back down. No. No, 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 no. No going down again. Fuck. Let's self-revive and try not to fucking die. Got the self-revive. Oh, so close. I got it just as I went down. All right, this has gotten real bad real fast. Let's go back to spawn. Hopefully no zombies will be there yet. We'll be fast enough to grab one. There we go. Let's grab a chopper gunner. Let's use the chopper gunner. <sighs> we need to thin out this herd so we can get perks back. Eat shit, zombies. Okay. Took out a decent amount of them. Let's head back through. No, no. I'm already down again. This is cr I have nine downs. Nine of them. I'm just going to crawl all the way to the wonder fizz and hopefully I can use it right when I spawn. All right, when I get up, let's use it. Grab everything and just run. We're running. Now I just need a self revive and armor and then we're back to normal. And then after that, we need to reroll our attachments once we finish this round. This has just been too wild. Okay, grab the self revive right here while we have a little bit of time. Now we can finally finish this round as long as I don't get knocked. No, no. 25 health, jeez. These zombies are not playing around. Is this our last zombie? All right, I'm taking the time to repair my armor. We'll take them out. And now let's reroll attachments. Dual wield, please, for all my hard work. No! We've only gotten the same two attachments or the same two optics. At least we, we don't have a silencer on it this time. Oh, this thing is struggling hard to kill zombies. Look at this. Okay, shatter blast just went off. That doesn't count. Look at this. It's taken still three to five bursts to kill zombies. Oh, there's chemical. We're all done with our pack-a-punch kills. All that's left is crits now. I am not going into that corner unless I have a ring of fire. There's no point. I'm just going to train around and get these crits. This has been like one of the simplest, like in theory challenges to do, but the most difficult. That's our 10th down. That one was entirely on me though. That was awful training. I just ran right into a whole horde. No, uh, we're down again. This might be the most times we've ever gone down in a uh, just Dark Aether video. That is ridiculous. 11 downs. We're only like 300 crits away too. This really shows that the Diamantes could either be like the best weapons or the worst. Right now we are just eating it. Okay, no self revive, no quick revive, no armor, no perks. It's a challenge in itself. Can we buy our self revive back fast enough? Yes, sir, buddy. Let's oh no. I was about to do the fucking chopper gunner thing again now i have to use the self-revive use the chopper gunner why is there no zombies is this really all that's left in the round no shot all right well that gives me time to get my self-revive back then and go get my perks it also just shows you how bad some attachments can be at like high rounds like if you don't have any sort of damaging barrel or armor piercing barrel you're kind of screwed you see how many shots just took to kill that one zombie? These last like three rounds, no joke, have taken like 20 minutes, I think. This is absurd. No way, we're down again. 13? Can I electric cherry you? Yep. All right, well, we went down very conveniently this time, considering there was only like one zombie left. Oh, I'm just sick of going down. Who knew that this silly little challenge would be this difficult? All right, now we're on round 45. Let's reroll our attachments. Please help me out here. <sighs> Dual wield don't exist. We've re-rolled it every round since round 10 or every five rounds since round 10 and we haven't seen dual wield a single time. No! No! The one time I go to refill my armor mid-round, I get stuck. No fucking way we're down again. We gotta be less than 100 crits away. We've already been down 15 times. Chopper gunner, use it! This has been so scuffed. We clear out every zombie that's here. And okay, now self revive is back. Oh, run! No! They really caught me on the climb. This is stupid. I'm switching this to Shatter Blast right now. And we're hopping back. I'm running right for the crafting table. I can't afford a self revive, but I can get a chopper gunner. Oh, shit. So if I die here, it's over. I don't have quick revive. Climb! 
Let's dwindle down the round a little bit. At least get our elite slot out of here with the chopper gunner. All right. We bought ourselves a little bit of time, but we do not have enough salvage to get any more self revives. We can't go with these shenanigans of going down four times around now. This pack a punch name has, it's been a self fulfilling prophecy. The Dialati. This might be the longest it's ever taken us to get Dark Aether, too. The most amount of downs, the most amount of rounds, the least amount of salvage, and all for our very last gun for Dark Aether. What a way to finish with our, our last bullet weapon. We've still got melees to do those will be fun this however has been the most difficult one yet across both accounts maybe besides the zrg it's taking about the same amount of time though with how i'm playing okay three decoys and a ring of fire that's how this is gonna go i'm gonna throw a decoy now pop my ring of fire pick the decoy up from the ground that's right here and now we're just gonna try to farm these crits we just need a little bit more and we're done oh is that the level up is that it are we finished maybe not Oh, we are. Let's go. All right. Well, that's going on. I'm turning the Rampage Inducer off. Oh, man. That has been a struggle. All right. Since we have one zombie left, let's reroll our attachments till we're out of salvage and see if we can even get dual wield. Oh, wait. Our first time getting a two times on it. It took until round 47 for that. Another two times. Eh. Basically about the same thing we've had the whole time. Any of these dual wield? Any of them? No, it does not look like dual wield exists. It's like they've completely forgot that attachment was a thing. All right, we actually have so much green salvage. It's going to take forever to get through all of these. So I'm going to reroll it three more times. One, two, and three. Nope, no dual wield the entire time. We rerolled attachments. I don't even know how many times, but this has been ridiculous. We went down 16 times. 16 times. This is ridiculous. All right. Take me out. I'm done. Where you at, zombies? I'm finished. Get me out of this game. See you later, zombies. Oh, wait. We have to go down again with Tombstone real quick. There we go. All right. Our final stats. 3,555 kills. 2,316 crits. No revives. 18 downs. Holy shit. All right. Now that that's over with, let's go ahead and check out what the Diamati looks like with Dark Aether. Here's Gold Viper first. Pretty good. Nice coverage on it. Not bad. Pretty decent. Plague Diamond, one and the same. Good coverage on this, always is. And then Dark Aether looks really good. Great coverage on this weapon. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like in game. All right, this is what the Diamati looks like with Dark Aether. Pretty good if they were to give me any of the actual good looking part of the camo right now. It's all that obsidian dark, just no texture really looking. Here we go. Getting a little color in there, please, bro. There it is. That's what we're looking for. That looks nice. What a good looking weapon. What a, used to be one of my favorite weapons in zombies. And now I don't know. That was really, that was really painful. I don't know what to think about the Diamatis anymore. Anyways, our suffering's over today. Like I said, the Diamati went from maybe one of my favorite weapons to uh, I don't ever want to touch it again. Just strictly because we could not get dual wield to save our life. With dual wield, it's so much better. With this, it just would not work. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone down more times trying to get Dark Aether in my life. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.